another clip is emptied as broken glass and blood coagulate next to each other on the pavement. Years later, the stains still remain as another mother cries pools of grief and agony all over the petals so delicately laid over the casket. All because someone so carelessly took his life. All because someone carelessly disregarded that she was worthwhile enough to live. His hopes and dreams are now painted on murals as we are left to remember her smile. More bullets fly with no respect of person, creed, gender, or orientation. Is this the core belief of our nation? Waiting in the shadows, ready to shoot them up and kill a mockingbird and everything that has breath and was once caged but now free. Guns have now united with roses in unholy matrimony. And we do solemnly swear to bear witness to the exchange of the rings and things that perpetually tie these two together forever. You may now kiss life as you know it goodbye because it can all be gone in the blink of an eye. So we keep roses on hand thinking they will somehow soothe the burning hearts of men and women left to remember. They won't. The roses are meant to represent a beautiful replica of life. But they don't. Not when they fail to bring resurrection. Besides, there aren't enough roses to go round for all the casualties we see. Not to mention the ones hidden from view. Alterations of the fabric of truth. If anyone else sees why these two should no longer be joined together forever, repeat after me. Let no man put us under and say, I do.